Welcome back to It's a Today we are going back to one of our personal favorites, Batista's. Batista's hold on the wall, so come get lost with us in some yes. In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Welcome back to Legit Holidays. A part of our celebration is recognizing the people in our community and around the world that do amazing work. And today we are going to be talking about it's Boys and Girls Club. If you haven't heard, they're an organization that enables all young people, especially those who need us the most, to reach their full potential. They combine caring mentors, a safe place for studying and activities, and innovative and quality programs to help children reach their potentials. They want to empower youth to lead healthy and productive lives. So make sure you guys check out the comments below. We'll have a link where you guys can follow it to donate and another link where you can go and check out more information about how you can donate your time or explore more about the organization. So let's get to the video. This was the line when we showed up at five o'clock. So just be aware that you really do need a reservation if you're going to Batista's Hole in the Wall. An interesting thing is they have changed their hours. So stay tuned and we'll show you those hours in a minute. One of the nice things about Batista's is that house wine is included with your dinner. Also, you get a choice between salad or soup. And then they have a pretty extensive menu that includes like steak and seafood and a few other dishes. So tonight we are definitely gonna dive in and see, see what we like. This used to be where the phone was, Back in the delay. Batista's, they have a menu and you just basically select your main entree, whether it's chicken, steak, or seafood. It comes with a salad or soup, it comes with some garlic bread, it comes with a pasta side, and then it also comes with house wine, so you can get red or white wine. We do prefer the white, but the red's really good too. And then you also get a cappuccino at the end, which we'll show you when we get there. So it's an interesting experience how everything is sort of like bulked together and it's kind of purchased that way. Uh, let's see what we get. So we just got our salads out and it's um, just like your traditional Italian type salad. It's got the salami on top and it's got uh, some peppers in it and it's a house made Italian dressing I believe. So I'm going to give it the first bite. It's actually really good. Not too heavy, and the dressing is just right. Let's see what Gary thinks about his. So it's an Italian salad with field greens and some meats on top. Let's give it a try. Daniel. Daniel. It's pretty good. I'm um, Italian salad. You definitely get a good portion of it here, which is really nice. Uh, a little bit light on the dressing. I'd like a little bit more personally for myself. But overall, not a bad salad. So let's see what Nacy thinks about that garlic bread. Next up is some garlic bread. Mm. It's nice and buttery. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. It's good. I like it. Let's see what Gary thinks. So, garlic bread next. Mm. 
nice and buttery. Uh, really tasty. It's got a nice little layer of Parmesan on top. Nice and crunchy on the outside, but soft underneath. I really like their garlic bread. So we're excited for our meals, and we'll come and get you when they get out here. So I got the lasagna and um, it is actually a very large portion. I'm actually pretty stunned and I'm gonna give it my first bite. That's actually really good. The sauce is nice and meaty and the cheese is like nicely well put throughout the entire lasagna and like I said it's a really big portion of lasagna as well. Let's see what Gary thinks about his ribeye. Alright so I got the fettuccine to side. Nice and garlicky. Good Parmesan taste there. Uh, I have like a little bit more of the Alfredo sauce. It's not as creamy as I would like it to be, but it's a pretty decent Alfredo. It is an add-on for the meal to get that too, just so you know. Now let's give a try to the ribeye. Yeah, everything's great. I can feel them here. Still what? Nice and well charred. Yeah, the steak's pretty good. Could use a little bit more salt and pepper on it though, uh, but not bad overall. Now let's give a try to buy potatoes real fast. Now, last time we were here, I don't remember getting potatoes too. I, don't uh, I did get the green beans, but I don't remember getting the potatoes, so. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of butter. Uh, they're decent potatoes. So overall, not bad so far. So we're going to finish up our main courses and then we'll come get you for the desserts. So another freebie with the meal, I guess. Technically you pay for it, but whatever. Anyways, is cappuccino. Now, I don't like cappuccino, but this stuff is actually really good. So even if you're not a coffee drinker, you should definitely try some. Let's Looks like the intro from last year's Vlogmas. Um, <laughs> it is super good. It's, it's kind of like a mixture of hot chocolate and chocolate. It's just really, really good. I'm, I'm telling you, even if you don't like coffee, give the cappuccino a try here. Let's see what Nacy thinks. So, my turn, and I do like coffee. It's definitely more on the hot chocolate side versus coffee. And it is piping hot. It actually burned my tongue just a little bit, but, you know, nice big heaping dose of whipped cream and we did get some dessert so we're gonna come get you when that comes out all right so we got the cheesecake with it's got some strawberries some chocolate sauce and a couple piles of whipped cream it looks super tasty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say super creamy for a cheesecake. The strawberry gives it a nice little fruity like taste to it. Um, wow, it's a nice big slice. Definitely recommend the cheesecake. Let's see what Nancy thinks. Cheesecake time. So cheers. It has some good cheesecake and it's, it's definitely like traditional cheesecake that's like baked. It's very thick, not too sweet, and the topping is just perfect. So, while you don't have to get a dessert here, if you're gonna get one, get the cheesecake. So, we're gonna finish up our dessert and we'll come get you outside for our final thoughts on our second trip to Batista's.
chopper. Get back to the chopper. Just get in the chopper. Anyways. Alright, so that concludes our Batista's hole in the wall. Yeah, which, by the way, this Hello. place is kind of, it's a little bit of a hidden gem. It's not a super expensive Vegas restaurant, but it is a Vegas staple. It is definitely an experience, and you can hear it. we're so close to the strip that the helicopters keep flying over us. And we're right by the uh, high roller. So, um, you can just reach out and touch it. I have to say, overall, I got the lasagna. It was actually really good. You got the ribeye. It was solid. I mean, the one thing I'll say is that it, it's a good place, and it's definitely a, a I would kind of say, like a must-try, because it's definitely old Vegas. Yeah. It's definitely old school. And this place actually used to be pretty popular back in the day, too. It's been here since Vegas started, really. Well, I mean, if you ask your grandparents or anybody who's been here back in the day, this is going to be one of the places they probably ate at. It's just kind of that well known. Yeah. It's, I don't know, it kind of opens later now, and it definitely has a really big line. So you definitely want to get a reservation if you're considering going here yes. and get it ahead of time. But overall, not a bad place to grab a bite to eat. Agreed. And if you are going to make a reservation, don't make it for right at 5 o'clock. Make it for about like 5.30. That would be my my legit tip. 3.50. 3.50. Damn it, Loch Ness. What are you doing here? Here he goes again with the jokes. So don't forget to like this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And ring that notification bell so you can notify when we do at least three videos a week. And we are going to come get you guys tomorrow for another legit holiday experience. Woo. Ain't that the truth, baby? Woo. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So thanks guys for coming and hanging out with us today for legit holiday. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode for you guys to enjoy. Make sure you guys check out the comments below so you guys can follow the links for all of the organizations that we're following this month. And uh, we will see you guys back here tomorrow. So make sure you guys like the video. Hit that subscribe button. And ring the notification bell. So you get notified when we release three videos a week. And we'll come get you in the next.